uh, i got commissioned in the indian air force so i am a serving air force officer after my internship i did uh, two tenures one in delhi and in uh, one in rajasthan and subsequently i so uh, 2015 to 18 i did my post graduation but again after the post graduation it is uh, imperative for us to serve again for four years my rank is wing commander the message i would like to give is to give exams and keep on giving exams one exam is going to help you for the next exam just a fresher just just passing off you just uh, give the neat ss in the first attempt you at least get to know the pattern of the exam the type of questions being asked the variety of questions the difficulty of the questions so that gives you an insight into the mind of the examiner so previous years questions uh, whatever uh, speed question bank had tried to do uh, three four times i would okay. extend my heartfelt gratitude to the entire team of speed so i bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of speed medical institute to dr priya patra samal for scoring aml rank of 5 in the specialty of dm pediatric neurology and in any ss session number 2023 congratulations and best wishes to doctor thank you so much sir uh, i would okay. extend my heartfelt gratitude to the entire team of uh, speed for uh, guiding me on this journey to achieve my dream thank you doctor thank you your uh, medical career started from what you did till date right sir Uh, sir i uh, did my graduation from armed forces medical college pune uh, in the year 2005 uh, so uh, i completed my mbbs from there and uh, as all armed forces graduates we have got a bond to serve in the defense services so i uh, opted for the permanent commission and after opting for permanent commission we get uh, posted to various uh, service hospitals so the first tenure is our internship stint which i did in command hospital bangalore uh, i got commissioned in the indian air force so i am a serving uh, air force officer uh, so the seat which i have presently uh, got through is a sponsored uh, seat uh, which was advertised uh, in the uh, uh, dm pediatric neurology so uh, after my internship i did uh, two tenures one in delhi and in uh, one in uh, uh, rajasthan and subsequently i uh, cleared my post graduation uh, and uh, post graduation i did at uh, uh, inss ashwini that is uh, in mumbai okay so uh, yeah so 2015 to 18 i did my post graduation but again after the post graduation it is a, 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 uh, it is a, a imperative for us to serve again for four years so that we are eligible to appear for our next level that is the post doctoral degree so that is how it is in the defense services so basically sir after uh, i did my post graduation uh, i did uh, two tenures one in uh, delhi and uh, presently i am uh, uh, posted in a zonal hospital in assam right okay. now you are post what is the post now doctor what is the so my my rank is wing commander wing and commander. my po- and my uh, appointment is a classified specialist in pediatrics Excellent. so uh, that is how my journey has been sir and uh, at a to share with you is uh, the uh, fact that uh, seats which are released from the armed forces medical services they are not always uh, of all the specialties for the past two years only the seats of neonatology were being released and although neonatology is a very uh, brilliant subject but uh, I, my uh, inclination towards it was not much so when this year pediatric neurology uh, seat uh, was released uh, as a, uh, in, a, in the sponsored category because first we have to clear our own internal exam afms uh, uh, first of all it uh, has to select which uh, candidate has to go for the sponsored category so uh, i had to first clear that exam in april okay after giving that exam we select which subject we choose so uh, so uh, in one of your interviews Uh, you had said that clearing the any ss is maybe slightly more easier right. than the neat ss so i could completely uh, correlate with your views on that because in any ss you know ki which subject what is your uh, inclination you you can go into the in, in depth of that and prepare accordingly but neat ss with the changing pattern because i also appeared in uh, give neat ss i did not get a very good rank and i was slightly demoralized but your uh, interview uh, dated just prior one week of any ss it helped me a lot 
because you said ki there is no uh, there is no uh, uh, relation whatsoever between what you do did in neat ss and what you are going to do in in ess because they are of a different level uh, playing field so uh, so i really uh, remember that uh, those uh, words of yours so that uh, that that was a very uh, big motivating thing just a week before the uh, when i uh, was to appear for my in ess exams wonderful doctor it was a long and a great and a wonderful journey that you have traveled so far and uh, we could uh, really we have because personally myself and speed medical institute have lot of respect for doctors who are in uh, service and uh, air force or coast guard or army any kind of uh, uh, army services we have we have lot of respect for you and also for all the members who are working uh, in, in this uh, field and uh, and we always look up to you thank you so much sir you know two perspectives one is the perspective of uh, being medical field as a service oriented field number two and uh, you, you are in uh, i mean uh, in in a nations uh, security uh, aspect and it has been uh, I mean it is in dual it's both uh, in a way that we always have a lot of and huge respect and also we wish to know how did you do your preparation what all you did to achieve what you are today uh basically sir uh, as i was just mentioning so once i had appeared for this april exam in which uh, the uh, defense services uh, conducts on its own so uh, that exam was given by about uh, uh, some 12 candidates and i uh, prepared that exam is basically of a different kind it, it is a 100 question based mcq uh, based uh, this thing and all the uh, sub, uh, entire entirety of pediatrics uh, uh, questions come so it has got uh, so for the for that preparation i had to go to the previous years questions because there is a, the, those questions uh, they usually get repeated so previous years questions uh, whatever uh, jo uh, speed question bank had Uh, uh that i uh, tried to do uh, three four times so that uh, if if uh, if uh, i should not miss out on a previous year's question because uh, previous year question is uh, getting uh, that wrong uh, puts you at a, uh, on a uh, back foot Correct. so so for that exam i focused strictly on the previous year question so that i am not on a back foot when i am uh, competing with the uh, my uh, my peers so after i cracked that exam thankfully i uh, got uh, rank 1 in that exam and i could uh, get the pediatric neurology uh, logged in at that stage okay. then came the next stage of preparation that is for the neat ss and in ess neat ss uh, as i as you had already uh, told in one of your interviews is is it's now the uh, entire syllabus and everything is changing so uh, predicting the pattern of exam is very difficult is very difficult still uh, i uh, tried to cover as much of nelson as i could uh, coupled with uh, dr muthaiya's uh, uh, lectures or whatever he tried to explain in very simple simpler terms or entirety of nelson i tried to cover at least uh, two to three times uh, i used to see the lectures and then go and read the books especially the pic- picture based questions for for better retention because uh, they are also slightly increasing in uh, number over the uh, past few years and uh, those uh, those questions uh, usually we don't practice much so uh, a pictorial correlation for those uh, thing i used to uh, see the lectures and then go and read the book that is how you i used to prepare for neat ss but although uh, i did uh, spend some time but i could not manage my leave especially just before the neat ss exam and my neat ss score, uh, scores were not very good so i scored somewhere in the range of uh, 450 uh this thing uh, for my rank was 450 so that was a slightly demoralizing point in my this thing when i thought ki uh then uh, the only option which i have is in ess and the in ess exam was then slightly postponed then we had to uh, uh, tailor make our leave because uh, being working as a full time pediatrician catering to our workload and then simultaneously studying is slightly uh, taxing and we, uh, as you have already also mentioned ki uh, taking that adequate leave just before the exam is very critical because if we don't do our revision properly our performance uh, gets uh, affected so thankfully before the ness exam i could get a stretch of 4 weeks of leave and i could uh, uh, entirely dedicate uh, uh, especially doctor uh, i would like to convey my thanks to dr chandana bhagwat 
uh, her lectures on pediatric neurology helped me a lot not only in the theory part but, but also in my uh, when i went for the next departmental assessment because few of the topics which she covered for example precision medicine in pediatric neurology the exact topic was asked by hod pediatric neurology aims okay so it was just like it was so, so you can uh, call it serendipity or something ki matlab exactly the uh, those topics which he had covered the same exact ditto questions were asked by the departmental stage so and so i would like to spe- uh, special mention for uh, dr chandana bhagwat for her uh, detailed handling of the uh, pediatric neurology topics not going too deep also but covering all, the entirety of all the uh, sub topics uh, uh, that is required uh, for uh, the nss stage wonderful doctor detailed <laughs> preparatory model because people really get benefited out of it and uh, and now what is the message that you want to give to students who are aspiring for dm superficiality in pediatric field the message i would like to give is to give exams and keep on giving exams one exam is going to help you for the next exam there is absolutely no two ways about it the uh, temperament of giving exams comes with giving regular uh, either mock exams or uh, even of even if you uh, even if you are uh, uh, just a fresher just just passing off you you just uh, give the neat ss in the first attempt you at least get to know the type of the pattern of the exam the type of questions being asked the variety of questions the difficulty of the questions so that gives you an insight into the mind of the examiner so hacking the mind of the examiner is very critical in uh, clearing the competitive exams so and the most important thing is to not get deterred by failures as the old adage goes goes failures are the pillars of success so if you fail once you you, you are not a failure un- unless you keep stop trying so that is the one message i would like to give to all the aspirants great now time to thank and you can take this platform to thank whom all you want to thank who have helped you till date uh, i have already extended my gratitude to the entire speed team and special mention to dr chandana bhagwat and dr muthaya for their pediatric neurology and nelson based uh, lectures but at this crucial juncture i would like to share a very small emotional moment uh, with uh, you if you allow me sir yes uh, because uh, after i cleared my theory exam and before i appeared for my departmental assessment i lost my father he was suffering from uh, metastatic prostate cancer as you can see i have just uh, shaved off my hair so uh, i had my doubts whether i will clear my exam or not but after i gave my theory exam i gave him a call he is in my native place uh, he was on palliative uh, he had spread to the liver liver mats were so oh, uh, time was short for for him we i know it was just a matter of uh, uh, days or uh, so basically the uh, i uh, when i gave him a call he said you will clear the exam don't worry i had my doubts but my father uh, who was lying on his deathbed he said you will clear the exam don't worry so that was the kind of blessings which which are required uh, for uh, for progressing ahead in life so so this is a very uh, emotional thing i don't know uh, you, if you should like you can no no it. doctor you should definitely i mean this is meant only to uh, for that and uh, yeah. you should definitely and we feel very very sorry uh, for your sad demise of your father and uh, so so uh, in this context i would like to uh, uh, dedicate whatever i have achieved uh, uh, for uh, in the name of my uh, recently deceased father and the entire and all my friends and especially some of my seniors those who have cleared uh, earlier their guidance has also been very crucial uh, a special mention to colonel vishal sondhi and uh, uh, lieutenant colonel abhishek pandey these are these, these two people were very crucial in giving me the resources some of the resources which i did not share were uh, basically there is uh, there something known as a uh, neurology uh, us uh, us uh, as, uh, usmle experience and those who practice in the us so that uh, resource material was very uh, essential those uh, uh, board reviews board reviews uh, are basically a case scenarios and you have got the multiple choice questions the approach to the uh, uh, scenario based questions is very uh, sim- uh, very easily simulated in those board reviews 
in, uh, 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 slightly different because there is a case scenario and there are five options to the uh, board review uh, questions but uh, for the uh, for us we have four multiple choice questions but the board reviews are also very useful in approaching the case scenario based questions and the last thing would, i would like to say ki apart from whatever uh, the speed is offering you can uh, go in for other question banks also so the more questions you keep on giving uh, that uh, keeps you in good stead uh, and builds up your momentum when you uh, go and appear for the final exam so that is something which i would like to share what, what, wonderful having you here in this interview session today dr priya batra sam for getting a top most rank of aml rank 5 in dm pediatric neurology wishing you all the best and all the success to have a great career in the super sub specialty that you are in and uh, wishing you all the best and all the success in years to come we are looking upon to you always thank you so much sir